Hey guys, thought I'd do an unboxing of a new Leonard 4140 motor as well as the Torque Star 7050. Uh, these are the Leonard Motor Technic Outrunner motors. So let's take a look. Comes in a nice uh, sealed case, easily comes apart. Well, nice, uh, nice packaging. This is the water cooled version. So you can see the two cooling spots on here. Very nicely constructed. Uh, this looks like it's essentially a steel can uh, to hold the magnets, uh, I believe, as well as a steel uh, spider here uh, to support uh, the back iron on the magnets. Uh, you can see inside there the twisted pairs of copper wire. What's also nice, you can see this motor has been dynamically balanced. Uh, you can see the, the set screws right there, uh, which they use for balancing the rotor. This is a 5-wind, which turns out to be about uh, 1133 kV under load. Uh, it's a 4 by 30 millimeter bolt pattern, uh, M4 screws. Uh, you can see the water cooling there, also 8 millimeter shaft. Uh, you can see it's got a pretty long shaft, uh, so the coupler uh, that's put on can then clear, or let's say the hoses can clear the coupler that's put on there. Really nice features. Uh, PCB boards, the main connection here, uh, and that basically distributes uh, the electrical current uh, to the individual uh, wires within the stator. All right, so that's the 4140 from Leonard. Let's look at the big 7050 now. This also comes in really nice packaging here. And this is a monster. So the LMT Torque Star 3 7050, 405 kV. Uh, this is the largest outrunner they make. Uh, similar construction to the 4140. Uh, just quite a bit bigger. Uh, this has got a 10 millimeter shaft. Uh, also has the same kind of printed circuit board that distributes the, the voltage and current to the individual stator winds. Also water cooled. So essentially the hub of the stator uh, is water cooled to try to pull some of the, uh, the heat uh, out of the stator. Nice steel can. Uh, that supports the magnets. That's not going anywhere. A nice big uh, billet uh, back hub on here that supports uh, the magnets on the rotor. Uh, you can see the cross drills here for some cooling uh, to pull some air through the motor. Uh, nice big heavy gauge wires, uh, eight millimeter square uh, on that connection. These also sound and feel great. Uh, can't hear anything on the video, but granted these are really nice motors. So let's look at these two side by side for a sec. You can see just what the, the size difference uh, between the two is. Alright guys, thanks for watching.